Hi there, today we're going to show you how to update the airspace and waypoint file on the LX9000 Glide computer. This procedure is exactly the same across the entire LX9000 and LX8000 range. Let's get into it. We've just turned the device on, so we'll just select profile. Elevation. Set the elevation. And then we'll go to the settings. Files and transfer. airspace and waypoints and you can see we've got the old versions on here so let's take the SD card get the laptop out okay we just go to Google Chrome and then navboys.com you go to software and downloads and then downloads and then here you can see download 2024 UK airspace and turn point files we click on that and that downloads a zip file up here We'll open that and then you can see the files here but they're currently in the zip file so we need to extract them to do that we just press extract all and then extract now we're looking at the extracted files ready to use okay just going to take our SD card put it into the SD card reader and plug it into the computer and then we've got the extracted files over here. So the entire LXNav range uses cup files, .cup for the waypoints and tasks, and then cub files, C-U-B for airspace. So all we need to do for the LX9000 and LX8000 range is copy these files straight onto the SD card. Instead of using the SD card, you could also do this by using a USB stick plugged into the back of the LX9000. Okay, just going to eject that. And now we're safe to unplug the SD card. And then we plug this back into, insert that back into the LX9000. Recognized it straight away. And then if we scroll down here, you can see files on SD. There's our latest one, 2024. The first thing I usually recommend is you press load at the top there. What that will do is it will load it onto the internal memory of the LX9000, which means if you haven't got your SD card, you've still got the, uh, the airspace file there. We'll then select that one. We'll deselect the other ones. Make sure that's the only one that we've got selected. And then we can come out of this page. That's our airspace file done. Waypoints, we go to here. And again, we're going to load this. We'll then select that. Now that it's loaded onto the device, deselect the old firmware version. Make sure it's the only thing that's selected. And then we we'll press close. Close again. And if we come to the map page, we can now see the airspace file is loaded and the waypoints are all loaded. So that's how to update the airspace and turn points on an LX9000. Again, the procedure is exactly the same across the entire 9000 and 8000 series. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.